70 kilogram kickboxing Grand Prix European title fight. And so please welcome firstly to the black corner, the challenger from Sunbury by way of Hanworth. Please welcome Vinny the representing Backstreet Dojo in Sunbury by way of Hanworth. It's Finney the Leopard Church. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He brings an extensive record of 57 fights with 43 wins. 13 defeats and one draw. He's the reigning and defending minus 70 kilogram KGB European champion, representing double K Jim in Eltham, South East London, where he's known as Skywalker Luke Wheeler. And your referee in charge of this one, Mr. Chris Bacheldor. Well, they didn't take uh, their eyes off each other for the whole duration of the introductions. It was like two caged lions refusing to break eye contact. There's real intensity between these two. 
Vinny Church, the challenger from Backstreet Gym, 13 and 3. Luke Whelan, considerably more experienced, the reigning European champion. Just final preparations with his corner man, Kieran Kettle. First major title of the evening on the line. Look at the intensity between these two defensive. Yeah, they are. They're both well up for this. Vinny's got a really unorthodox style. They're not. So away we go then. K1 rules, three three-minute rounds and the European title on the line. Vinny Church, the challenger in the red trunks. Luke Whelan, the champion. In the white gloves, the bleached blonde hair. Lands a good solid body kick to start. Always fireworks when Whelan is involved and he shakes his head as Church slams in the first couple of kicks. Comes in behind the hands and they pull each other briefly into the clinch. It's got intensity, this one. Yeah, Whelan just walking his man down, stalking him. Just slams in the high kick early, Whelan. Tight, compact and aggressive as always. Church, the taller, rangier of the two. Long, long arms. But he's been pushed back in these early stages. Bear in mind, this is a title defence for Luke Whelan, so if you're going to come and challenge the, ch the champion for his belt, you need to be pushing the action. So you want to see Church coming forward a little bit more than this. At the moment, we're seeing Whelan looking as if he's chasing the win here. Oh, a lovely catch and sweep there. The timing was beautiful. Just scoop the leg. <laughs> this is good. Well, everything changes when you have the title as champion. Suddenly, you stop aiming for targets because the target is on your head. Whelan has made a couple of defences now. He's looked strong as champion. He's got that real swagger when he walks to the ring. And he's made this, like a couple of other fighters, very much like Charlie Peters, who we'll see in the main event too far away now he's made this his backyard and as you say Dave Vinnie Church if he wants it he's gonna have to rip it away from him yeah he's gonna have to come forward nice combination from Church there left hook to the body right body kick Oy. Church stalking, looking for the opening. Whelan, some nice feints just to keep his man off, then drives in the body kick again, just muffled by the impact of Church's forearm, just took the sting off the bloke. Step out, step out, wait for him, step out. Good, good. Church looking to work the body there, but good feet from Whelan, oh. isn't it? Just saw one land right on the chin of Vinny Church, but he seemed to ride it fine. It's a left hook on the bell, as you say. Great action through the first round between these two. Whelan, the champion there, with Kieran Kettle in his corner, looking composed and relaxed. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from that opening round. That was the catch and sweep early. Second round then, away we go. Nice kick to the inside of the leg from Whelan. Started fast as he did in the first round. Yeah, like you say, I mean, we picked up on it from the start. Church should be chasing like this. 
Whelan is the champion. You need to come and beat the champion. Stiff jab from Southpaw there from Church and a little nod and a grin from the challenger. Comes in with a good combination. The uppercut got through there. Whelan took it well. Keeping the hands high. Just missed with a jab to the body. Two just looking to exchange with the hands for a moment. Give the legs a, a breather. Nice work again from Whelan. Finishes with a kick to the body. Check left took their lands as it did on the bell of round one. And a bit of showboating from the champ. Whelan avoided the attack there, just grins to his corner. Just really enjoys it, doesn't he? <laughs> he does, he loves it. That's what's wicked about watching. It's so entertaining, so, so entertaining from the moment the entrance music hits, you see him at the top of the ramp, right through to the ceremony before, and the fights and everything in between. A real showman and a terrific fighter as well. Certainly one of our favourites here. Certainly one of the crowd's favourites too. Lewis Church is right in there with him, giving it his all. Couple of left hooks and Whelan rode them on the yeah, gloves. I think Whelan felt those hooks though. They seem to land and he, his, his face changed a little bit. Just caught him just above the temple, I think, with that left hook. Church in the ascendancy, perhaps, pushes the right hand through the middle, just having his best spell of the contest with a minute to go in round number two. Whelan now kicks to the body. Back and forth stuff, and there's real fizz and excitement in the crowd as well. You hear Kieran Kendall saying, I want a minute of pressure. He's got less than a minute to go. He wants him to push him back again like he did in the first. See the reddening all down the right uh, right arm of Vinnie Church where Whelan has been landing those solid kicks. Nice work from Whelan there, landing the body kick, caught the return fire. Pressure, pressure from Billy Church. How effective has the pressure been through round number two? We'll have to see if this one goes the distance, what the judges think. Entertaining stuff, though, either way. See a bit on the replay here. Some of those hands landing from Vinny Church, pushing wheeling up against the ropes. He avoided that combo there and held on. That was good work. That was the one that really hit him. A couple of those left hooks, he's just, I didn't see that. Away from our commentary spot, but he was sort of teasing him that he was gonna hit that, throw that left hook. He's having a good crack at it, Vinny Church on your screen. Certainly not out of it yet. Whelan pumping the crowd up. Church doing the same. It's theatre, it's drama, it's the fight game, and these two both looking to take home Whelan's European title. <laughs> he grins as the long looping hand comes off the shoulder. These two goading each other now. Oh, stinging shot there, just caught the inside of the arm of Church. Whelan with his back to the ropes. You can just see Vinnie Church stalking, looking for that shot, that punch. Oh, nice uppercut through the middle off the left hook, but again, Whelan shakes the head. Can't write off Vinnie Church, he's got strong hands, look. But again, that counts the left hook from Whelan. So often on the way out, Church has been caught with that three or four separate occasions. Whelan just picking those single shots, speedy kicks to the body. Church has got fire in the hands, but Whelan has seen them coming and his timing's perhaps been a little better of the two. And that's maybe even the difference here, Dave. 
Yeah, I can't help but feel like Church needs to throw the hands, let him go a lot more than he is. I don't feel he's done enough to take the belt. Well, if he really wants it, some point in the next minute 45, he's going to have to roll the dice, you feel. Could be a really exciting finish. Just got the feeling of something that's building to a crescendo. Is this going to explode at some point in the next minute and a half? Whelan back to the ropes, looking to block the oncoming kicks. Church looking for an opening. Both tense, both poised on a hair trigger. <laughs> I can't help but feel that it's just waiting for that one shot here. Vinny needs to let his hands go. Trying to open Whelan up upstairs while going to the body. Whelan didn't take the bait, just stay tight and compact. Competitive yeah. vote. He's doing well. Whelan's doing very well to hold his ground and just cover the shots, not, not take anything silly and just pick his points as he's doing it. But all that time with that left kick. I can't help but feel like Vinny's dangerous with those hands though. A left hook landed again and again. Always on the way out of the combinations. Again, Whelan just moves to another part of the ropes. Has to lay on those two. Church has dug in and pushed his man back. It's not easy to split them here. It's close stuff. Both working hard. Whelan just missed with the kick. And the right hand. 15 seconds to go. Look at the colour of Vinnie Church's right arm. Literally purple from those kicks. Last 10 now, the crowd rise. These two looking to respond. Church opens up with a three punch combination. One, maybe two got through. Just clips him on the top of the head. Whelan straight to the turnbuckle to celebrate. He believes he's done enough. Church responds a moment later. And these two looking out to the crowd believing that they have both done enough to take home the European strap. How did you see it through those three rounds, Dave? Good contest. It was a very good contest. The Whelan starting much stronger in the first. Second more even and Church working harder in the third. It's going to be very difficult to judge. When it's for a belt though, as we've said, I can't help but feel you have to really take the belt from the champion. And did Vinnie Church do enough to do that? That's the question. Well, what the replays are showing is the sportsmanship, camaraderie, the two have knelt before each other, exchanged smiles and some nice words. And, well, Whelan beating his chest saying me. We'll find out momentarily who it is. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both of these men after three excellent rounds. And at the end of those number one, number three one. rounds of action, your ringside judges have reached a Let's unanimous do. decision in favour of your winner. And still! And still! The minus 70 kilogram KGP European champion, Blue Skywalker Wheeler! No doubt some close rounds in there. But Luke Whelan has retained his European title. He wears his heart on his sleeve, doesn't he? He certainly does. It's nice to see. I like it. And that, that was the Luke Whelan that we know. When he turns up like that, he's a hard man to beat. Yeah, swagger from start to finish. And the champion's performance, Lewis Church, credit to him. Pushed him, beg your pardon, Vinnie Church, pushed him all the way. What a contest between these two. But there is the reigning, defending European champion, Luke Whelan. That graphic is not correct. <laughs> the winner, Vinnie Church, is not the correct decision.